Okay, so it's about uh, actually building a web part, uh, which is replacing the old classic video web part uh, to this, which is uh, for, for the modern experience. Sorry, I'm kind of haven't done it for a while, so bear with me. Who am I basically? Yeah, I'm a software developer based in Vienna, Austria now. Yeah, I'm former MVP from Visio and Office of Services. Yeah, and uh, you can find my profiles in the GitHub, like Stack Overflow, LinkedIn. And lastly, I was working for the Visplan. Check out these guys as well and our like strategic planning. Yeah. So what is it about? Yeah. So the so motivation, uh, let me maybe show first what it is about. Yeah. So that it could be easier to understand. It is about building a, a web part which is available from the Microsoft App Source, right? And that anybody can install actually and uh, you know use in their organization and bring in that um, web part to the store. So it is about this diagram frame web part. Let me show what it is about. It's about in the previous version of the V of uh, SharePoint, you had a possibility to create a, uh, to embed Visio drawings. Visio is basically a diagramming tool for Microsoft Office, and you had a you know a nice uh, web part which allowed you to embed like you know drawings in your page and uh, give it some options. Here you can see the previous experience like of SharePoint like. 2016, like something like that, right? Unfortunately, that was like experience was uh, discontinued after migrating to SharePoint Online, right? And for SharePoint Online, yeah, there is only a file viewer, but the file viewer does not really provide a lot of options uh, for the for, for viewing these diagrams. And here, for example, yeah, let me maybe briefly show, like, yeah, before you had, like, you know, uh, options to disable pan, like disable like status bar, and you know like disable some animations, for example, and uh, customize the sizes of that screen and so on. And out of the box now, right, you can only set just the basic properties of that thing, like, and it will be uh, showing always the same view. So this diagram frame the part, right, is actually enhancing the built-in. Think with the new capabilities. So you can see it here, right, on the live demo. So when you add a modern page, right, that old work parts are not available. So you can only have a chance now to provide either a file viewer, which is like limited in the way I just said, right, or this new web part. And this is basically the web part that has been built. Yeah. So what you can do here, you can configure it, you know, with the file first, right? Using the speaking and thing, right? And then you can set you know, about the same more or less set of parameters you had before on the, you know, on the old web part. For example, you can hide like diagram boundary and, you know, like disable some interactivity or enable some interactivity, select zoom, initial page, like basic stuff. When probably uh, you know the file viewer will implement that, yeah, and that web part can be yeah also like expired or not needed anymore. But for now, it is it can be a good replacement, I guess, for the you know for embedding video diagrams into SharePoint pages. Yeah. So let me get back to the demo, right? So this is like basically the motivation to replace the existing web part and also like like always there is a good reason and you know like practical reason. The good reason was to build uh, this replacement and provide it basically for anybody who wants to install it, right? Because it's like you can install it from the store. Yeah, you can just go to the app source over here, right? And just type, for example, this is the public Microsoft site, right? Diagram frame. You don't need to, and then just get it right, and it will be uploaded to your app catalog. Yeah, on the when when you get it right, it will be downloaded to your tenant that us and installed into your app catalog. Yeah, let me just show like it's already installed here. Yeah, 
So after that, you will be able just to use it like directly without having to install it like explicitly to your organization. Yeah, that is uh, kind of different from uh, what is usually done with a demo web part. Yeah, for that you need to upload it through the partner center. But let come to that later a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so basically it's done using Visio Online API, which is like Office GS wrapped in a code, and then uh, some components like uh, that were just mentioned, right, are also employed to build this web part. It's like Fluent UI, uh, the previous version of the library, like number eight, right, not the not the latest one, yeah. Then also like uh, SPFX controls library, which is like providing a lot of useful things like you know file picker and so on just was we which were just used as is or improved a little bit for this uh, part right so let me show one more thing here as a next step right this part this web part is basically open source so you can go to the github uh, right and uh, just check the full source code of it and it is exactly the same uh, the part that is published in the app store Okay, and then this is like clarifying the replacement. How it works, yeah? It works basically through online API of Visio, yeah? And this API allows you to embed your code, your basically uh, Visio frame into your custom page or your custom web part, right? And also it provides a basic methods for manipulating it, like, you know, like setting the size of it, for example, like showing uh, or hiding toolbars, basically all the properties you have seen on the diagram, uh, on the on the sidebar, on the web part settings, right? Those are all available or set, configured with API, right? And yeah, if we go to the, Code for that thing, right? You show. Then it is a, just a standard web part, basically uh, created uh, using the SharePoint generator, right? And the root of it is just dropped um, a top element, which is like acting as a container for iframe, which is containing Visio in terms, yeah. So for the details, I think it's better to navigate to the actual GitHub and look in there. But I mean, just to give an idea that how it works so that you have a top element, right? And then on loading, it just initialize that with the Visio, like, you know, with Visio API by creating embedded iframe and then in, uh, runs Visio in that uh, iframe to load the drawing, yeah? The, one of the challenges here could be the, you know, resolving the URL of the file. I mean, Visio can be, the diagram can be specified, for example, uh, that is like not belonging to the current website or it can come from the, you know, the uh, OneDrive or it can be a share link and to resolve that into something that can be understood by the Visio API, right? That is a little bit tricky and you know, it's done using the also like SharePoint API. And for that, this PNP GS library is also used, yeah. Like for picking as well, uh, like for, yeah, picking as well, picking files. Okay, let me get back to the presentation. So from the SPFix controls library, it's basically using the placeholder to have a nice, you know, APIs when it is not configured yet. And then it's using the file picker element which is like used to basically provide the list of files and folders and uh, help users with the navigating to the file and then there can be some other points of interest like compared to the well, uh, in addition to the code right that is like in the project uh, the project is built basically using azure devops and uh, there is a configuration to build this uh, project for the SPFX web part. So all this is actually public, so you can check out how it's uh, configured, basically, if you are interested in building, like, you know, the web part in a continuous uh, basis, like with uh, releases, for example. When you produce a new release, you don't deploy everything like manually, but have it like automated by the 
Azure DevOps. Another, like, you know, maybe point of interest here could be the localization of the web part, right? And I want to, you know, highlight the great SPFX localization extensions, uh, extension in case you have not seen it, like by Elias you know, It's like you will find the links like afterwards, like in the demo presentation. Yeah. So as a last step, maybe I could uh, tell a little bit about publishing procedure to the sort to the app source, how to bring it, yeah, and how to make it possible to be downloadable from the uh, store. First, you need to register at the partner center, right? And then you basically submit the application for the partner center for the review, right? And the main challenge for me was actually like, you know, to create some documents, right? Like, you know, uh, user documentation and privacy policies, such of a paperwork a little bit, yeah. Also, it took about like one month, like, yeah, to have a application reviewed and, you know, like testing, test, tested more or less by the submission team. Yeah. And I'm really grateful to those guys who helped me to, you know, fix the things and have it like rolled out to the store. Yeah. Just a, one more, maybe like link and what it looks like in the partner center when you push the stuff there, if you are, when you go to the partner center, right, you have a possibility to push things to the store and that's basically marketplace offers right and if you click that one right you can you work from here right and it is actually all described more or less there it is just the path yeah one need to take to have it like rolled out just to provide some links as well yeah, for the presentation and uh, where can you find the things related to this web part? First, the repository, of course, right? Then you have the app source and the website uh, where the documentation for this web part uh, actually is. Yeah, my contacts are below. Yeah, and back to you. Yeah, if you have some questions, please go ahead and ask them in the chat as well yeah Thanks. thank you thank you nikolai uh, great and really useful uh, demo mm -hmm.